All right, y'all. So, so the real test is, do I still remember how to film? <laughs> of course I do. But I haven't filmed in forever. Oh my gosh. I think it's been about a strong three weeks. And in the filming world, that is like... Mm, a long time. Lots of things been going on. As you can see, my background is different. I'm back in my room. My house is fixed. I will talk about that a little bit later. I'm out of my kitchen. Yes. Okay. Although that said, I really wasn't too bad, but it was hella cluttered in my kitchen. Mm -hmm. Even though that was like a dead wall space. It was super cluttered. And then you could always hear the heat clicking on and off. But back in my room, new vanity. This is a vanity I actually ordered like at the end of, well, this was a Christmas present for my mom. I sent it to her. I was like, let me ask you some advice because I was sick of all the clutter from the other vanity. And then disaster struck. So it's finally up. We're here. We're filming. I got some new Glam Shop goodies. I think the lighting looks pretty darn good. I think the white background is helping. You do have the mirror. I kind of blurred it out so it won't be too distracting. And I did lighten up the bedroom walls. So that right there where you can, oh, well, it's kind of opposite, but you know, right here, you can kind of tell like the light, the wall is a lot lighter versus the darker gray. So I went with a lighter gray. So I'm happy. I have some Glam Shop goodies. You know, I love the Glam Shop Poland over here and they have some multi-chromes and a new palette. So, woo, <laughs> we're gonna pray for the eyelids because I am gonna do some swatches of that and a demo of the palette. Let's go ahead and jump in with the video. Ashley, welcome on back to my channel. So since I filmed the little intro intro prior to putting on any makeup and I have done all the makeup and the looks that you will see in the coming video, I think I remember how to film. Yes. <laughs> So, if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you're only but goody, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup. So, that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup. But please just call me Ash or Ashley. Now, eyeshadow is one of my favorite things to present on this channel and it is really my jam. And I love the Glam Shop. So, the Glam Shop, the Glam Shop Polar, let me tell you. So, I initially found this on Julia March's page. Julia K. March and Marta's Makeup, they kind of introduced me because Marta's Makeup had bought Julia some shadows and I was like, oh my gosh, these things are gorgeous. They're beautiful, sparkly shadows. It's like, I just went to eyeshadow heaven, like literally. So I love the Glam Shop, okay? I have so many shades and they had some new goodies and I wasn't even expecting that because I had just kind of looked at their website and didn't see anything new. Not like I need anything, but you know, I was just looking and as I kind of opened up this palette, this palette is by Adept Cosmetics, but as you can see, <laughs> these are majority of my Glam Shop shades and they are not pressed glitters for the exception of this one. So if you want to see these little babies in action, I definitely have a whole playlist on the Glam Shop. Majority of them are in one video. And as I release a few more collections, they are in separate videos. I also have videos on the palettes. And we are talking about some of the new goodies that they have recently dropped. So they have some multi-chromes. <laughs> Glam Shop said, hold, hold on, wait. <laughs> Let me put my foot in the multi-chrome game. And the Glam Shop, as I just previously mentioned, is a female-owned brand and is out of the country, Poland. Now, they do have a website. It's basically in Poland. But you can go over to the options. You can click the... Um, the English or the Great Britain flag and it will turn it into English and you'll be able to shop. They use UPS as their shipping. It usually runs around $28. It's a change, but you get your products within like a week. And sometimes at one point on the Glam Shop when I was shopping from them, they would actually tell you 
like, hey, if you order this now, you'll get it basically by Friday. Or it used to be two weeks. So I probably got my products within maybe 10 days. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I guess my eye had to cut up somewhere since we did do some eye swatches. So uh, like I said, they came out with some multi-chrome shades and I was like, oh, some of these are beautiful. Some of these are unique to my collection. And so I purchased five of them. Apparently I purchased It's a Hit twice. I'm not going to give it away because I put my fingers in both of them, not realizing they were the same shade. So I have five shades right here that I'm definitely going to do some eye swatches with. And then I also picked up another one of their palettes. This palette is actually new. I do not know how to pronounce this. And <laughs> it is a beautiful kind of green scheme palette. And the Glam Shop always has some really great fun color stories. And what's really great also with the color stories in the palettes that are already curated, you do get all these different specialty shades that the Glam Shop has to offer. Also the Glam Shop, for me, I remember them being one of the first brands that had like the hollow shades, like the holographic shades that you see everybody else kind of coming out with now. Um, like if you were to look at the very top row of this palette, everything, all of these are holographic shades. So really, really fun, beautiful shades that have multi high, just really dimensional. If you love makeup, I definitely suggest that you check out the Glam Shop. They are pretty affordable. These single shadows, it was a 20% uh, off sale. It was some type of sale. So the single shadows ran for about $6.80 or $6.80 euros. And the palette was actually, let's double check. Palette was $17.80 euros. Okay. So, and like I said, the shipping was 2880 uh, euros. So like I said, with UPS, it's just like really fast. You get there, you get your products. It's it shipped well. They're pretty much not broken. I've never had a problem with shipping from the Glam Shop. So as I just mentioned, I'm going to do some eye swatches. And then I'm also going to go ahead and play with this palette and present a look. Usually I would do three looks, but with the eye swatches, it's a bit much, okay? So <laughs> let's go ahead and get started and jump into the swatches. I brought you in closer per usual so we can start with these eye swatches. I don't have any makeup on. The only thing I have filled in are my brows using the usual suspect, okay? My Groove Proof Pencil in the shade 3.75 by... Um, what is this benefit cosmetics? Yes. So normally when I wear my multi-chromes, I usually use uh, my NYX glitter glue, which is right here. You can find this at Ulta. You can find this at Target, any place that carries NYX. And uh, it's usually like $6 or something. Very, very effective for holding on your multi-chromes in place, keeping these super sparkly shadows in place as well. I also have my glam glue. So what I think I'm going to do, huh? Now the Glam Glue is actually from the Glam Shop Poland. I think I'm gonna use this to do my swatches. I'm not gonna put any primer because this can serve as a base. Normally if I'm doing my eye looks, yes, I would put on a primer, but we're gonna do some eye swatches of these beautiful multi-chromes. And the Glam Shop has beautiful shades already, but they have a few more traditional multi-chromes than I, like I said, I picked up a couple. So here's five. I thought I picked up six, but apparently I got It's a Hit twice. So I didn't add that onto the palette. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna use my finger to apply these, but I probably should grab a brush just to kinda, of, you know, pat this out a little bit better. Well, we'll see. We'll see what it's looking like in just a second. So first going in with my glam glue, I am going to just go ahead and prep my eyelid really well. This is a clear base. This doesn't give me any issues, but I do know my friend Beauty and the Frizz. I think this bothers her eyelid. So if not, like I said, the NYX glitter glue is fine. I only bought this because it was recommended and I was placing an order and I've had this for a while and it's going to get a tiny bit tacky. And the first shade I'm going to go in with is called Multi Unicorn. And I actually have not used this shade at all. So let's see, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some. Ooh, very beautiful. 
and before this goes away I'm gonna start putting applying this to my eye or before the, the glam glue dries rather oh man this shade is gorgeous And I'm sure, you know, if you put a pair with some other shadows, it's going to be really gorgeous too. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. Now, I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. If I do, I apologize. If I can't think of it at the moment, but wow. That is really, really pretty. You can see it go from like green to purple, it's gold. Oh man. And this multi chrome is pretty smooth, as you can tell. Look at that shift. Yeah, I haven't played with this. I've only played with maybe, <laughs> I guess one, actually. And that, that was the shade, it's a hit, before I realized that I had two. And I was like, wait, this looks like the other shade. Okay, now I'm going in with another round of glam glue and then we'll take the next shade. So this shade is definitely a lot bolder and it's called Blue Dragon. Ooh, look how pretty. Ooh. Oh wow. It's really pretty so so far I see more of the blue on my finger but I don't see it on my eyelid just yet but let me finish applying it to like how bright vibrant oh, I think I can see some of the blue shift now do like how vibrant it is you know usually you can't get a purple this vibrant Multichromes are just so much fun because it's like you did a lot of work, <laughs> but you really did it, you know? Mm. So that is Blue Dragon. Let me put a little bit more down by my lash line because I'm missing some shadow right there. my finger so it's definitely really really purple really blue and I think that's what made me buy this shade because like I said I was looking for things that are definitely different we definitely always have that shade that's blue with some purple or turquoise mixed in and this is more definitely more inherently purple but you could definitely see the blue shift I see it mm. and smooth but once again very smooth, very silky uh, multi crop. Okay. So those are the first two shades. I'm going to remove this and I'll be right back. All right, back. And I actually was able to remove that very easily. I just took a makeup wipe, a couple of just full swoops across the eye. It came off really well. I think that's also why I didn't really want to do like an eyeshadow base, like uh, my matte contemplate state. And I just wanted to focus on the glitter primer. So we have three more shades left. Going in with another round of the glam glue. And as you can see, I don't have too much glitter or particles of the eyeshadow rolling around they don't actually use uh, glitter so that is nice to know and I have venomous right here Ooh, can't wait to see what this shade looks like I'm gonna let this die down for just a little moment we want it tacky we don't want it wet now this shade is a little bit more flakier in texture Mm. Oh wow. And shades that are like this are definitely easier to handle 
with, you know, some type of primer, glam glue, a uh, <laughs> mixed glitter glue, Too Faced glitter glue, something to make it adhere to your eyes. Um, as you can see, this one, let's see. Ooh, I am still getting a little fallout because it's kind of like you have to rub it a little bit together. Um, it's pretty, but I don't know if I enjoy this shade as much. Even though it's a hit, it's somewhat a little bit similar. It just feel like it applies better than this one. So, this is Venomous. I'm not, I don't think I'm really a fan. This is what my finger looks like. And this one doesn't, I mean, it's a pretty color. It's more seafoam green, but you know, I don't, I think it's just okay. Next up, we have Blue Lagoon. Very interested to see how this comes off since it says it's Blue Lagoon, Lagoon and it's definitely coming up as a green shade. It is very foiled, very, like, look at that. Ooh, wow. Let's see if we see some shifts. This one is pretty smooth as well. I don't know if I see any shifts. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, on my finger, okay. I think we would definitely benefit, I don't know, to see the shift with, it's definitely giving bright green. I like it, but I'm not in love with this one. The first two shades I felt like were very pretty. This one, I like it, but Hmm, I don't see a shift. I definitely see it on my finger. Let's see. If we were to just give a good swatch. Uh, the shift is not really there at all. Okay, I'm gonna whip this off. I have a feeling it's gonna take a little bit more oomph to wipe these off. <laughs> Let's see. And I might need to go uh, wet these makeup wipes. These Neutrogena, I've had them for a little minute. They're still moist, but I think I need to add a little bit of uh, micellar water to them so I can get these off a little bit easier. I'll be right back. All right, I'm primed up, ready to go again. Now we have the shade, it's a hit. I promise you, I have worn this shade four times. This one is a little bit stickier formula, a little bit flakier, but it's still, it's very smooth. And it is gorgeous. It's blue, it's green, it's gold, it's purple. It, it's a hit, <laughs> literally. And I have worn it with green shadows. I have worn it with purple shadows. I have worn it with brown shadows. And this shade, oh my gosh, just, Stunning, and you see how even though it's a little bit tackier, a little bit flakier, it still applies very nice. I'm gonna get a nice coat. It's beautiful. And I actually think that this shade is really pretty on its own, but mixed with other things, it's just, it's really glorious. So. All right, so these are the eye swatches. My eyes have survived, praise God, because we do have to go into a palette. So, uh, for me, I'm, uh, well, I guess I'm about 75% in because it's two that I don't really care for, and that was the two from the last swatches, but it's a hit. You know, like I said, I've worn this about four times already off camera, and then the first two shades. I really enjoy those. So 
So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to prime my eyes and we're going to jump into the palette. So my eyelids are prepped and I'm using my Contemplative State Primer by MAC Cosmetics and you know it is the perfect shade. Here is the gorgeous palette. I'm not even going to pretend to know what this says. So this is what it looks like and as you can see there is a little bit of leakage of oils into the cardboard but the shadows are perfectly fine when that happens. I think it's caused from like maybe a little bit of overfilling but it's going to work great. And uh, this shadow was a tiny bit cracked. Now when the palettes do come they do have these little discs that are over the shades to protect it. And usually everything I've gotten from the Glam Shop has been in pristine condition. But like I said, that particular shade did break on me. So uh, it actually didn't break. It's it like a little crack. It, it's it's okay, you know what I mean? It's, it's all right. It could be worse, but it's not. So it's, it's okay. So let's see. I don't know where I'm going with this look. Uh, I have a Singe Beauty, and this is an E03 brush. I've really been enjoying these brushes thus far. I have not washed them, so I have not done an update because I can't tell you, you know, a thorough review because, you know, I haven't washed them. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> so hopefully it'll be fine, but so far, I've been enjoying them. They've been great. Now, I'm going ahead and putting this shadow in here. Now, for the glam shop for me, I the mattes to me are okay. They're a little powdery. Some are better than others in the palettes. Um, so this kind of looks like how I expect it to look. A little mustardy situation. I love a mustardy green situation. It's building up nicely, but sometimes I find that the mattes could just be a little too powdery to my liking. But for me, the star of the show is always the shimmers. I mean, the shimmers be shimming and shimming and shimming. Like, whew. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, but this is not going on too bad. Um, like I said, it is a more powdery formula. As you can see. It's, it's powdery there <laughs> on the palette. Um, but it's blending out nice with this brush. This brush is very soft to be a synthetic brush but Angie did a good job and if you're not familiar that would be Angelica Nyquist this is her brand and she came out with brushes and I do have like a full demo of me using the brushes on my channel so we got the first shade down I think it looks good it's pigmented you can see it looks like how a lot of Mustardy shades do look. <laughs> you know? Uh, let's see. And this was a five piece brush set, if you were wondering. Where do I want to go next? Okay, now I got a What's Up Beauty brush. Now, What's Up Beauty, these brushes are nice. They were gifted to me, and I think they're super affordable. And these are natural hair brushes. And I'm just going to pack that. outer corner and that is going on pretty well mm -hmm. now I'm just going to take a smaller blending brush this is the EO2 from Sage Beauty and just kind of bring that on in I am losing some shadow right here tend to do that though with this eye but like I said the mattes are just okay they're very soft so it is kind of fading away a little bit. So I'm gonna beef it up. Um, but I do like some of their palettes. Um, they have a lot of great palettes that are a little older that um, I do have demos on with my channel that are really great color stories and really great monochromatic color stories, especially when ColourPop was doing that and I discovered them. So. I do like that and like I said the great thing about you know the glam shop you're getting these special type of shimmers that you would get in their singles you get them in the palettes as well so it's, it's really fun to play with so I was able to kind of beef it up it doesn't look too bad but typically 
I don't know if it's like my primer. I typically struggle in this little spot of my eye right there. So I just patted it. So, so far, I am good with this. Um, I'm going to go back in with my glam glue, trying to figure out my little shimmer situation, how I want to handle this. I don't know. I haven't even swatched this. I'm like, let's see. Okay. We got Faza. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, I don't think it's bad. I don't think I have anything like that. We have this deep color in the, ooh, those two together would be great. This one's definitely more textured. So that's this shade right there. This shade, oh my gosh. Girl, what? Stop it. Ooh, oh my. That is different, that is unique. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, you know, and I don't really find that they duplicate their shades from the palettes into the singles. That is freaking gorgeous. And I wanted to use that shade, I might use that shade. But then I saw this shade. I don't know how those two would look together. They might look okay together, I don't know. Ooh. Let's see what the middle one is looking like. I know like that top one is going to be Mary. It's going to be like, ah, tensely. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That little seafoam green number. Oh, man. Hmm. Okay, I think I can use those two together. That's pretty too. That was the shade that was kind of broken. And then let's see. Okay, Mary is definitely, oh, she's spoiled. Honestly, if I was to use Mary, I probably wouldn't use it with the mattes in these palette, okay? Because that, to me, that's like a shade where like the matte has to be equally Balance, like you know what I mean. You can't have a weak matte and then a super strong shimmer. You know what I mean? Like you need that formula to stand up. I would dip into my blends, or I would dip into uh, maybe a Pat McGrath. I would dip into Busy Art or something like that. I feel like it's a little weak to handle that type of shimmer. You know what I mean? You you know what I mean? It's just like sometimes it's like, oh, how the shimmer is so bold and. These mattes are just a little too powdery. You need the matte to be equally as bold, you know? It's in terms of formulation, you know, not necessarily color, but definitely formulation. It's got to be able to hold its own. So, hmm. I think I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a gradient. I'm gonna see how this works. Okay, I got my glam glue. And usually, sometimes I would just, cause you lay it over the shadows and this is how you definitely get this whole, uh, my glam glue is a different color type of thing. Kind of like your clear lip gloss that you use with your brown lip liner situation. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I didn't grab a brush. All right. Now, I'm gonna go in with a shade and I'm just gonna take my finger. These do work well for brush, don't get me wrong, but I'm just gonna take my finger. I'm gonna lay that down. And then I will go back in later with a brush. And clean it up, cause y'all know. I don't like no sloppy looks. <laughs> So that is pretty. And now I'm going to take that middle shade. And I'm working kind of quickly for this glam glue kind of <laughs> tries to dry out on me. As you see it in my inner corner. <laughs> Got my flat definer by Sonya G going in with that top golden shade oh okay that's cute because it kind of like shifted it did the multi-chrome thing on us so yeah it feels really nicely together mm-hmm that's pretty
Okay, and I'm just kind of blending that up. I brought that down into the inner corner. I'm gonna just go back with that flat definer brush. I'm gonna put a little bit more on the outer corner. This flat definer brush, it just picks up just like almost any shadow very well. Like I said, the shimmers are really pretty. The mattes are like, they're not bad. They're not the worst I've encountered, that's for sure. <laughs> but they're not the best. And I'm gonna head up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do my other eye, get this face together, and I shall return. All right, I'm back. Final look. Woo! She came out really cute. I enjoy it. I think it looks really good, okay? So let me talk about what I used on my face. So for my face products, I went in with my favorite primer. She, she's almost gone. I got to back up. I got like maybe one more use, two <laughs> uses left. And that is the Fenty Beauty. Uh, this is the hydrating primer, the Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. And then I went in with my Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani. This is the mini size. And this is shade 8.75. I really like the match on this. I don't know how it's going to be in the summertime. I think it could stand to be a tiny bit warmer. So I might need the next shade up. And then I have 7.5 for the concealer or I might not even buy another one because I have plenty of other things I can use like my house labs is super warm my NARS is super warm my Pat McGrath is super warm you know I got enough stuff I don't need to be just you know whatever you know what I mean all right and so for the bronzer I saw this in my drawer I was like ah this is really nice so I actually use this is the shade tan this is by Juvia's Place and I went in with this shade for the most part and then deepened it up on my cheeks with the darker shade and I went in with one of my new favorite items. This is from Blend Bunny Cosmetics, and this is the Bare Cheeks version. I did see, receive this in PR. Um, I went in with a combination of these two shades. And for the highlight, hmm, what did I use for my highlighter? Oh, okay. I went in with the Best Buds Glow Brush by um, Menagerie Cosmetics. And this is the Authorine and Glow Brush. And it's like a pinky, goldy, reflex green type of situation. And for the lips, I took my Blends Bunny uh, Lip Cream, uh, Matte Lip Cream. And this is the shade Dow Face with along with the lip liner. And I went in with some Naked Lashes by Ardell. And for the waterline, I went in with this Glam Shop Eye Pencil. It's just a dark green shade. And this actually came from the Camel Glam um, collection. So... Yes, so the palette I think is really beautiful. I do definitely want to play with it some more. Like I said, the mattes to me are like, mm. I mean, it's not terrible when the look comes together, but I definitely feel like they could be bolder, stronger, based off the strength of their shimmers. Because, like I said, I just you're you're gonna need something bold to hang with this buddy right here. She is large and in charge. Now, uh, the other shades, the shimmers are really pretty. I don't know if I'm gonna care for this one so much because it seems more of a it's particles spread out. But overall, I really do like the look. And this shade definitely surprised me. I did not expect it to be like that in the inner corner. But I really enjoy what it looks like. And I think, yeah, I'm definitely going to have fun playing with this palette. You'll probably see it in like in a palette rotation video. I love to include stuff like that that, you know, I'm still thinking about. I'm definitely going to wrap up with some final thoughts when I talk about the next set of palettes that I have to talk about. I don't really have anything to talk about at the moment. But I did... Let's see, I, I need to go upstairs because I think it was just delivered. The mailman got just kind of got here. <laughs> it's 819, but they got here around 7. And that would be, I got two of the palettes from the Ace Butte, the Flora and the Begonia. And then Glaminatrix is on the way into the night and it wasn't a pre-order. Yes! And then Ketracel, Adept. So we got some things coming down the pipeline. And then I do have like my Clarity Bridal palette that I've been wearing off camera. 
that I've never actually put on camera. So, mm. but other than that, I feel like the looks are beautiful. The multi-chromes, I have really been enjoying the shade. It's a hit. I think they are beautiful. And I really like how they kind of went in direction and just kind of did a few different shades that we really haven't seen all the time because, you know, with multi-chromes, Obviously, they're dupes on dupes on dupes on dupes. Uh, like I said, I'm about 75% here because, like I said, these two shades I don't really like, but this one really blew me away. I think it was really pretty. That was the shade uh, Multi Unicorn. Of course, I said I've been loving the shade called It's a Hit. It has, like I said, I've been wearing it kind of nonstop. I've worn it about four times. And I definitely want to play with this shade that is called Blue Dragon. I think it was a very vibrant purple. And you definitely get a blue flash, unlike with the Blue Lagoon, where it's definitely more green and you hardly ever get a blue flash. So, anywho, <laughs> so that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know some feedback about the background. I think it's looking pretty good. I think the quality of the camera is looking pretty good, too. I did some, definitely did some tinkering around before I came on to film. And I'm excited to try to get back in here. It's still a lot of going on with my grandmother and we just don't know and we're taking it day by day and she does not live in town she lives in the east st louis area so that's why it's like i sometimes i'm having to go back and forth of course work is busy and you know life is life in and i'm trying to enjoy things as well at the same time and my birthday is coming up next week hey <laughs> so you know <laughs> it's a lot going on per usual but um my grandmother getting sick just really threw me for a loop through all of us for a loop we we that was like left field w was not expecting that okay so with that being said please give this video a big old thumbs up hit the notification bell so you know when i come out with another video which will be soon and subscribe to my channel because you know i would love to have you here in my little makeup family and with that all of that being said you already know what time it is it's time for the chat dance chat dance hey 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 chat dance mm, mm, chat hey all right y'all Bye.